primary differences between and an average whistler that you might hear just on the street and a champion and an artistic whistler are a couple of factors. One is the range, you know, how high and low can you go. Another are the techniques that people use. For example, I've developed all these funky techniques as the regular lip whistle, but I can also whistle with my tongue and then go. So, I use those as embellishments to mimic an instrument or to add diversity, and it really helps me interpret the music in a more interesting way. There are many ways to keep one's lips conditioned. I don't kiss, for example, 24 hours before a performance because kissing makes your lips mushy and we cannot have mushy lips and be a champion. And I drink ice water, but perhaps most importantly is my best friend, Chapstick. There is a handful of people around the world who can whistle, love to whistle, and have turned a routine type of sound into art.